look at the WHO recommendations is the doctor to patient ratio to be 1 to 1,000. But Embu County has about 80 doctors with a population of about uh, 1.2 million. So therefore, it means that Embu County should have about 300 doctors. So there's a big shortage of doctors in this county. The same way it is in all other counties in the country. But this is quite serious. That's why we are saying in the last five years, there's not been any employment. We were doing a tabulations on the counties, how they've been employing. But we realized that in the last six years, Embu County has employed less than 10 doctors. It then means that as much as the population is increasing, there is no priority to offer the services as needed. And that's why we are demanding that as the county is doing its budgeting, they must promote the doctors, they must employ the doctors, and they must employ them in the right terms so that the residents of this county can benefit in the right to health care, as is in the Article 43 of the Constitution. It is the right for every resident that if you go to the hospital and you're told that there is no drug, ask yourself, who did you vote in? If you go to the hospital and you're being told that there's no doctor, then ask yourself, where is the money that is remitted to county going? Because it's a right for every Kenyan to access the health care. And you can only access this when you have your consultants in the hospitals motivated, when you have doctors employed, when you have drugs in those hospitals. And that's what we are speaking about. As a union today, we are demanding for the county of Embu to live to that promise, that the residents of Embu can get the services that, it's, that, it's, that they so much need. The one thing that we must say, and I must put it clearly, that the population of Embu is rising every day. And we have seen, and as I've already explained, that in the last six years, Embu has employed less than 10 doctors. We have doctors who are residents of this county that actually graduated and became doctors. They live in this county, so they may hope to actually have private practice. It is those that actually work in the private hospitals. And we know that there's a procedure for every working condition, every working environment. There's no any time that any county in this country has come and said that this doctor has absconded duty, or this was absconded duty, or there's a theater list that was to be done, was not done, or there's a clinic that was to be done by a doctor that has not been done. If in any case such exists, and a governor or a county leader or officials of the county goes to media to speak about it without taking action, then they're incompetent. So that's the reality. So we know very well that the shortage of doctors is what is making the health care services in the counties deplorable. We know very well that the doctors and the consultants who work in these particular counties are demotivated. They're demotivated because they are being paid peanuts. They're being paid like, like, like interns. The only that they have a big art to serve those counties. That's why they've all resigned. Otherwise, if the opportunities avail themselves, that like the way it is do, it's happening, we'll have no doctors in this country to serve Kenyans. And you can see that's why the Ministry of Health and others are trying to, to stop healthcare workers from leaving the country. Because they know that they are making them to suffer in this, in this state. The population of Embu County is not looked into on a single entity, especially when it comes to service delivery. We look at the county with, its, with, with, with the borderlines of the, of the region. And if you can check based on the census of the 2019 and the, thereabout, we have 56 million Kenyans. And Embu into that particular figure goes about one, between 900,000 to 1.2. In that scenario, even if it is 800, the population or the number of doctors, the ratio will be about two, 300 uh, to actually about uh, 100 to 300 that will be needed. So in essence, the number of doctors that, that Embu County as an individual has actually less. We we, the, the county has to employ more. And if you look at the neighboring Tharakanithi, that uh, has a population of about 400,000, I think, and the, they have about uh, 26 doctors in service. The ratio of doctor to patient there is 1 to 35. So that's why we are telling you that in entire country, the ratio of a doctor to patient is 1 to 17. It will require Kenya as a country 50 years to employ 1,000 doctors every year to reach the WHO recommended ratio. That's why today, if you go to the hospital, you will not see a doctor now. You will wait for about 12 hours or about 24 hours to see a doctor. And in many instances, you may end up not seeing a doctor at all. The reason why they're not there is not because they're working somewhere else. It's because they've not been employed. The reason why you can't see a consultant in those hospitals is because they've not been employed. There's a big shortage. So that's the reality. When I talk about the drugs, I talk about the reality in the sense that the money that is being put like up to, up to June, the county governments in the entire country hold cancer up to 200 billion. That is a clear indication that they could not get supplies. 
And many of them, you will see big lorries, you see big trucks coming to those hospitals. They are not supplies that will manage a whole quarter of three months. Today, if you go to those hospitals and you need to go do a, 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 point, a, a, a sport check, that how many patients get to be prescribed for drugs and are given out of, out of, uh, out of, out of stock? And this is actually being said by doctors that write the prescriptions, you know, being said by somebody else. So the reality is that when these patients fail to get these drugs, they have to go and buy them outside. So there is need to actually invest more in these particular drugs. And this is why doctors are saying that, that we are there, we are offering services, but we cannot get the drugs to give the patients. We are there, we are offering services, but we do not have equipment to support our services. So you will lose a patient as a doctor, not because you can't manage this patient, but because you are not able to. You are not supported to. We have a, a doctor, a, a surgeon who works in a, in a level 3 hospital in, in Embu, and he has only one nurse. He has only one theater. How many people do you think he will serve? That is actually, the doctor is actually being incapacitated by the county. Those are the realities and the facts that we have to solve to actually deliver services to the, to, to the residents of Embu. Thank you. My name is uh, Dr. Dennis Mugambi. I'm the KMPDU branch chairperson for Upper Eastern. Today we have met with the consultants and uh, doctors in Embu County to agitate for the uh, poor working conditions uh, that have been witnessed in Embu County for the last 10 years. We expected there is, that uh, there will be a change with the change of uh, governor in Embu County, but we are sending a very stern warning to Madam Cecily Barire because uh, doctors in Embu County have not been promoted for the last 10 years. We are aware that she, had, uh, she has taken the mantle of leadership uh, just for the last uh, eight months, but we want to send a warning because even with, within these particular eight months, there is no step that has been taken by the county government of Embu towards solving the crisis uh, of shortage of doctors in Embu County, promoting doctors in Embu County, payment of statutory deductions. Essentially, it is illegal for somebody, uh, you know, to deduct your money and not submit it in your bank. Some of the people, some of our colleagues here in Embu County are losing their properties to the bank. Some of the, our colleagues are losing whatever they have been earning, whatever they have invested for the last 10 years to the banks due to non-payment of statutory deductions. So we are telling the governor if this issue is not sorted out, in the next 21 days, there shall be a massive strike of healthcare workers, not just doctors, in Embu County. We are sending a warning that any resident in the next 21 days should seek services in Kirinyaga County and the Rakanithi County and Meru County for the services of healthcare, uh, whatever health is supposed to provide in Embu County. Since Embu County has been a, an hostile employer, Thank you and God bless you. The county of Embu a notice for strike that will be beginning on the next 21 days, that's 28th. But at the same time, we are taking the Embu county to court for actually deducting the statutory deductions from the, um, the doctors are not limiting to the respective bodies. In the last um, about five months, the county has not limited any statutory deductions that have been deducted. Uh, these are different. Now we have uh, like uh, NHIF that's not been limited of, of, of about 8 million. We have about unions that have not been limited up to 5, 6 million. We have loans that goes up to 60 million of doctors that have not been limited. We have circles and insurances that have not been limited over 40 million. So all these doctors, they get a salary sometimes and they go to the bank and they're not able to access the money because this has been withheld by the, by, by, the, by the different banks. So it's actually an injustice and immoral for the counties to deduct the salaries, to deduct uh, the, the, the certain deductions and fail to remit to the respective bodies. That's what we're demanding, that they have to remit this immediately. It's an injustice that cannot be tolerated and cannot wait any further. It's very clear that this year, over 90% of the doctors that work in the Embu County could not be cleared by the Kenya Revenue Authority, and this is clearly because there was a stipulation and a, uh, and, and a statement that the county has not remitted uh, the pay for the last, since 2016. So I think it's high time that KRA need to look at such counties and actually deduct the monies instead of subjecting the workers to such a tedious process of not getting cleared when they need to travel or when they need to do their activities. Thank you. See, 
the, the, what I'm saying is that they have not paid, and that's why we have bringing us as, as an issue. That's why we are going to court. You see, if you feel like if a county has paid, we won't be agitating, we won't be proceeding to uh, prosecute this matter in the in, in the courts. We will have not been. We will actually be easy. But these statute deductions have not been paid, and we know very well that the national government has remitted all the money to the counties. It's no longer an issue of exchequer. It's an issue of the county's commitment to sort it out. Thank you. That we are not politicians yes. and we speak facts. The moment the member says that they can't access loans, that they are being, uh, they're being blacklisted and those things are happening, it's a fact. It's not a political, we have no political ambition in Rainbow. What we are saying is that the right things need to be done. And they need not to be done tomorrow, they need to be done now. For the safety of the doctors and for the safety of the residents of Embu. That like Embu County holds Kemsa money, and that's why they're not able to even get drugs from Kemsa as at now. They are only relying now on getting a few uh, limited drugs from uh, meds. So that is the reality. That is the situation why if you go for a sports check at the Embu County Federal Hospital, you will not get drugs. The doctors are frustrated because they cannot deliver their services because the counties have under-equipped them. And that's why we are calling on the county government. But it's not a point for saying that there are drugs or something like that. It's a reality that they need to have drugs, they need to have equipment. We need to be able to offer services to the residents of this county. And that's why we are calling upon the county that we do not want a progression or a propagation of the previous regime or the previous county in this new regime. The manifesto and the commitments to health for all that the governor promised, she should implement it. That's what you're asking for, huh? That's what you're asking of the residents of the, of the residents of the county, that they need to actually demand for the same, because healthcare is a right.